Uh, we are ready to rock and roll here yeah. on uh, StreamYard with John Luciano and uh, Street Volkswagen, the Street Auto Group. Actually, one of the uh, Amarillo uh, businesses that have uh, done really well and jumped on the uh, uh, way to, to deal with the public are early on in all this and done just a fantastic job. That's why they're still uh, got the lights on there where John Luciano is. Yeah. My one tip for the day would be buy as much cream as you do sanitizer because, man, hitting <laughs> your hands with that stuff all day long, by the end of the day, your hands are cooked. Right. Right. It feels, uh, you know, it, it's itchy. And uh, so uh, I've been very fortunate to endorse Volkswagens from street for the last eight months. Uh, we've uh, driven four of the wonderful automobiles from you guys. There's the RT on right <laughs> there. I had that for a while. We had the uh, Beetle, one of the last Beetles to roll off the uh, assembly line. There it is. And uh, that didn't last long. Somebody wanted that immediately. There's Absolutely. the interior of that uh, beautiful Beetle. And I'm in the Jetta R-Line now, That's which is just a blast. That's having a cool. lot of fun driving it. Uh, there's one of the street rods. And uh, boy, I have no trouble talking about how fantastic these uh, cars are, uh, John. It sure is a lot of fun uh, to drive them around town and answer questions and show them to folks. Thank you. They are you know, it's, we've always been known for our driving prowess. You know, it's uh, fun to not drive or it's German engineered or it's German engineering at affordable prices, all the different things they talk about. But our cars do drive different than most. They do. And it's uh, it's some of the changes, the things that they're still built to run 120 mile an hour testing instead of 70 because we still, you know, platform share and some of our cars go, you know, to European markets and uh, it's just different. Uh, but a lot of fun. We're we're probably not the quietest car on the market. We're probably <laughs> not the smoothest riding car on the market. But when it comes time to handling and safety, we, we've got you well covered over the competition. Oh, that's something I noticed right away. The first day driving the first Jetta was the uh, uh, warning that you're a little close to the car in front of you. And boy, that gets your attention real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have forward collision and rear collision monitoring. So very... <laughs> Very nice, uh, you know, and all the different things that go along with it, the safety features that do it. And it's safety features on the some of the bigger nameplates, very, very similar to Mercedes or BMW or or the Audi brand, but right. just not near as expensive. I, I think that's probably been the biggest challenge for us once we opened the store back in 2013 was getting the Amarillo market to understand that the, these are not expensive cars. We're very, very competitive. And usually payment wise and with the zero percent and some of the other things we've done through the pandemic has been pretty stout. Uh, we've been actually almost more affordable than the others. So it's been fun to be a part of. It's great. We have uh, we've loaded the trunk from time to time with the street uh, goodies. Junk in the trunk, baby. Junk in the trunk and driven around town and had people say Lamborghini or uh, whatever <laughs> and uh, made people happy with goodies uh, and the uh, VW swag bag. And uh, and just had a blast. And that's just something we, we kind of took from the street business model, which is if you're not having fun, what's the point? You know, <laughs> why are we here? Why are we here? <laughs> uh, so that's that's been a great time. And, and I know you guys have uh, been real involved in the community, especially through uh, the last five or six months. You are concierge service and uh, other things that you offer to just just folks, whether they're uh, street customers or not. We, uh, you and I do our commercials and we've talked ever since the beginning of, you know, if, if it's something car business needed or, or wanted, you know, please reach out to us. We'll do our very best to take care of you no matter what brand or what car. And we had a very nice, sweet, older couple call me last week that just said, look, is there any chance uh, we haven't been able to find a truck and we need to move a couch over to an elderly person's house and we're going to donate this um, dining table and set to another elderly house to help these people out. Is there any chance we can borrow a truck? And it was so sweet that they called. And I said, well, I got a better idea. Rather than you guys borrow the truck, why don't you just tell us where we need to be? And we took a couple of employees and a couple of trucks and we went and picked up the furniture and we went and delivered it and just did the right thing. Gosh, took an hour of our time. But you could tell that these people had really spent some time trying to figure out how to get this done. But that's what we want to be. We want to be that type of the community that, that it can always help because we, you know, we love being in Amarillo and we love so much about this area and you just got to give back. And you know, there's all kinds of sayings we could go back to from a million different people about, 
you know, your happiness also comes from the happiness that you, you know, create in others. And you'll always get what you want in life if you help others find theirs. And we're just firm believers in that and loving on this community and look what it's done for us. You know, we've, we've got the number one and number two stores in town and just enjoy being a part of it and love giving back. And gosh, we were, you know, bringing baseball back. It was fun. We were the sod poodle game on Saturday night and what a great crowd. We were there with Ronnie Jackson and Spanky Asseter and a bunch of us sitting down there. And Lindsey Lane came and joined us for a while. And we kind of had a pretty happening little, uh, little booth going there, but got to talk to a lot of people and, Everybody's attitudes were so good and so happy. Um, you know, just just lots of fun, and it's it's fun. This community has really—they're careful, they're cautious, they do what they're supposed to do, but they're also going to continue through life and just not not going to let it bring us down. And just like everything else, uh, you know, this too will pass. Absolutely, and that's why it was so easy for me to slip in and start endorsing you guys because uh, our our heads are both in the same place as far as. <laughs> Uh, the, the community and being involved with people and people that put you where you are and we kind of feel a responsibility uh, to them and giving back and uh, taking care of folks. You guys make it so easy. I've got a, a couple of things I want to show people. Uh, the uh, award-winning uh, service department and the uh, uh, you can shop online and they make it uh, so easy. The financing, uh, there's a couple of happy people getting some financing. Then you can schedule your test drive. Uh, the phone number that's on the screen crawling there, you give them a call and uh, schedule your uh, your test drive, the top dollar for your trade. And uh, you can always uh, click online just like you do at the pizza place and find out what's on special. Uh, right. The uh, current offer at uh, streetvw.com. You know, Texas has an interesting thing, which I think is very cool that they do, is that if, if things were a little tough right now and you just needed to sell one of your vehicles, if you have more than one car at home, you have up to one year from the time that you sell it to us to still have the tax credit. Wow. So we can help if you can do it and you're going, look, I mean, we'd like to get rid of this car, but we're going to replace it, you know, for one of the kids coming May or something. We can show you a really great way to do that and, and still get those tax credits and still be taken care of. And we'll write you a check for the car and buy it. We're That's always looking for inventory. Uh, some of the inventory we're actually buying and wholesaling just strictly to help out the community again. Some people are just look, my, my job is good, but it doesn't start again until January. If you're teaching school or something else, just not sure, not sure I'm going to need it. And I, boy, if I could not make these six payments right now and just pay it off and get clear and do that, let, let us try and help. Let us try and work with you, see if it makes any sense. So if, once again, if it has to do with a car, we want you to think about street Volkswagen. Absolutely. And if uh, folks are, are uh, listening to what we're saying and talking and think, well, I should like to, to do business with those guys. But right now, I'm just not interested in a Volkswagen. There's so much on the lot. There's so much in the pre-owned uh, uh, lot over there. Some of them also have that uh, 72,000 mile uh, uh, bumper to bumper uh, coverage that you yeah. guys offer. It's just fantastic. What a great deal. Yeah, we still do car catcher and it's it's probably up and that's that's an ability that we have to find any car within the United States and we'll bring it in and we'll work with you. And we even have people that have found a car on the Internet. Right. And the guy wants to sell it to you and you want to buy it. But, well, you need to send me a check. Well, I'm not sending you a check without a title and you run into all that. Well, right. yeah, I got to sell my trade for it. No, no, I don't take trades. Come by, talk to us. Come by and see Big Dan. Let's look at it. Sometimes we can facilitate it. We'll take the trade. We buy the car. We'll get you the tax credit. We just want to help. There'll be no hard pressure. We just, you know, at both of our stores, we, we are just not a pressure team. It's not fun. No one deal is ever going to make you. So we just don't go down that road. We just want to take care of a customer, sell some cars, do some service and be a great community leader and great community partner. That's, that's what we get up. And as you said, kind of like your team down there, if you make it fun, it's never a job. And that's right. how I, this is year 41 for me. I, I know I don't look it, but it's 41 <laughs> years that I've been taking care of clients and doing business. And I've had some of those people from those first 40 years buy cars from us in the last year that we've shipped to different areas that are still clients because of the way we do business. And that's all it is. It's just a good, honest, clean, transparent way of doing business. Yes. That's great because we see these people in the grocery store. We run right. into them at that sod poodles games. And if you know, you want everybody to, to feel good about you. You know, when they do yeah, run. I got two times on uh, Saturday night at the sod pool game, whatever I got. Uh, one one was a pose for a picture and the other was a Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to meet Mr. Lamborghini. You got to put that boar in there to get it. Yeah. Just right. So 
we uh yeah we've only had one lamborghini that we've been able to sell but uh right. we're hoping you know maybe something changes but you know maybe not quite the market for it they don't make much of a four-wheel drive or anything carries hay so anyway it's but it's fun and uh you know and i always used to tell my my son would whine when i would tell him to put on a a clean shirt to go run errands you know uh you might not know who they are, but they know who you are. So be nice, be polite, act right, and uh, carry the responsibility of uh, being a, a, a member of the community uh, with respect. Yeah, we've just got lots of events going on. Got the big chamber golf tournament coming up on Thursday. We sponsored the the dirt track on Saturday night again with Street Volkswagen Night. Had a great, wonderful turnout. All of our good friends out there just can't thank those guys enough for for what they do with us and work with us. The cars were out here on Saturday. The crowd always loves being a part of that. So um, we love it. We love our community events between the two stores. We we think we've been involved in about 300 plus events in the last 24 months. And we continue that. And that's that's our type of, of, of advertising. That's what we, we want to be known for that, of supporting it. You guys had the big Christmas event. You're always putting on pink when it's that time for for uh, breast cancer, and uh, and I really that's a, it means a lot to us. We appreciate that. Yeah, you know we've uh, that uh, our, our cancer stuff has kind of made its way home. We're we're gonna, we're working with one of our employees, and she's she's going through some breast cancer issues and going through that. So it uh, it definitely came right home to us. But uh, through all of our knowledge and through working with the Texas Tech and, and the different groups. Gosh, we're prepared for it. We're ready. Attitudes are great. The team's behind her, and hey, you know, on we go. It's uh, it's just life. No, you know, God will never give us nothing we can't handle. He'll never give us too much. So keep your head up high and just work forward and take care of people and and give back, and you'll have a great life. Let's let's talk real quick, John, about the. Uh, I wanted to to see part of this uh, this classic uh, Volkswagen commercial that ran probably when you and I were just uh, little kids. And yeah, there's, remember that? <laughs> Absolutely. My, yeah. Yeah, my, my father had some partners that were Volkswagen dealers. And so we drove Volkswagens. I mean, I truly, I know a lot of people say it, but I truly grew up with Volkswagens. That's all we had. So. Right. Yeah. And let's, the, the, the brand has evolved uh, over the years, and uh, but they've always been uh, fun. I remember, I remember, uh, when MTV first came out, they had the da, 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 those commercials with the, yep. the, the two knuckleheads riding around uh, like Beavis and Butthead in a Volkswagen. And they've, they've appealed right. to the youth market and also to the mature uh, family, family man and woman. Uh, and as the brand has evolved, so have the, uh, yeah, there's that. That's That was the first time I wanted to be a Volkswagen guy because yep. I'm a guitar player. And I remember, I remember those ads with John Mayer. And uh, how fun that looked. And I thought, oh, I've got to have one of those. You know? Yeah, that was actually, that was called a Fender edition. And that is not a joke, the way that his guitar is plugged into it. If you had the Fender sound system in the glove compartment, you had the jacks that you could plug into it. And everything came actually through the car. It was very, very cool. And now we've got the, uh, let's see what I haven't driven a Tiguan yet. And I haven't been mm -hmm. in a Passat. Uh, those are fun. I'm telling people this Jetta, this R line is a blast. Uh, the, uh, the uh, RT on, I felt like I had to dress up to get in. That's a classy <laughs> ride, man. People were asking questions about that. So it's, it's just a our, blast. That's kind of our version of Audi. That's about as close as, you know, the, the brand itself, VW owns Audi and owes, it owns Bugatti, it owns Lamborghini, it owns Ducati motorcycles and Seat. And there's 11 brands under that one roof, Bentley. So they try and protect a little bit as much as we platform share. And a lot of our cars, the under chassis and all that are the same as other brands. But uh, the Arteon is really one of the closest ones we have to an Audi A5. Yeah. Uh, it's 20 grand cheaper. Yeah. But <laughs> How about that? Car, so much fun to drive. Absolutely. So we've got hey. Electric cars coming here uh, at the end of the year. So that's amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're uh, we're looking forward to it. We're not sure just how much market there will uh, there'll be here, but I think there'll be some, and it makes sense. And with the tax credits and the different things that the government's doing, uh, they're very they're going to be very very affordable the first two years. So for some people that are driving oh, a big diesel truck or a big heavy three quarter ton that you don't use it every day. This this may make a lot of sense, a couple of hundred dollar payment and you drive this car with no expenses because of the electricity from the house and you can park that truck, you may actually save money 
going against that gas bill and then have this additional transportation. So right. uh, the right. government is putting a lot of money behind that. So, Hey, I've got an idea uh, for our next show, John. We, uh, John and Johnny in cars getting coffee. Yeah. What do you think about that? Right. Let's do it. <laughs> it, it go to, we go to roasters, right? Keep it right. Going. I'll tell you there, they, the business that roasters does, yeah. Never. I, I didn't know people drink coffee that much, but if you go past this roasters over here on Sansi, from five or six a.m. till nine p.m., there's there's always a line. Always. There's always one over here too on for Paramount in Georgia by us too. Yeah, between on them and the Chick Fil A, man, I'll tell you what. The, gosh, these people. <laughs> and then they you know, added a second. They added a second lane, double drive in. You know. Right. Put people in the parking lot and the line's still out on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressed. But you know what? Great companies, great people. They take care of their employees. They're very similar to us. They're very community minded and they, they're the true spirit of Amarillo. And look, you will be rewarded and you're blessed and your business is good. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And and uh, the, if as an employee of one of those companies, like you said earlier, you'll never work a day in your life if you're having fun. Uh, doing what you do for a living. It's just a blast. There's, there's nothing more fun than making people happy. Absolutely. 5,000 South Sansi. John, is there anything that uh, I haven't brought up that you'd like to mention? Mm, coffee, coffee and drinks are always free and there's snacks. So right. <laughs> just, if Roaster's line is too long, uh, my coffee's not even <laughs> as good as theirs, but it's somewhat fresh. You know, we use a Keurig and, you know, we it's make it. pretty good. I've had a lot good. of that street Volkswagen coffee. It's pretty tasty. So if you have a chance, just come by and you really need to come see the new Atlas and the new Crossport. Okay. Our first version of the big, larger vehicles. And this Crossport, uh, if, if, you know, if you're driving a Yukon or you're driving a, a Lexus RX 350 or Durango or something in that size, you need to come drive this vehicle. They really did some great thoughts on how they built it, how big it is. It, it just fits our market. You wear a cowboy hat and either one of them never take your hat off, roof <laughs> off that high. Just a big, large vehicle that gets good gas mileage and crazy safe. Really, really safe. You can leave your hat on. It's pretty amazing. You, you can get in a car and keep a cowboy hat on other than a truck. It says a lot. That's pretty great, good. Car, great big door handles and all the knobs are big. Very A lot of ergonomics, a lot of really great thought was put into that vehicle. And it's why it's been such a success in our market. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, is just a huge thank you to the community, not only for the business you've given us and the time and, and the, just the honor of letting us serve you the way you do, but how we have come through, you know, the COVID crisis. Um, I'm the current national dealer council chairman. So I represent all 650 Volkswagens in all 50 States. And through this, I've had an opportunity to be on too many zoom calls and too much time talking to these other communities. Nobody, no community in the U S has, come through it like we have, felt like we have, honored it, kept their noses clean, kept their hands clean, kept their face masks on and did what they were supposed to. So, I mean, Amarillo, I mean, the reason our numbers are good like they are and the reason that things are, are doing as it is, is strictly because of us, because of this community and because we care. And we just cannot thank you enough for just being who you are. And it's so wonderful and it's so much fun. And it just makes me really proud to get to represent us and and, and get the world to understand this community and how many people watch us and look at us. So thank you. Thank you so much for everything you do. Well, we sure have enjoyed uh, being uh, involved and doing the remotes out there with you guys right. and, and, and driving the cars like you do and, and having this really, there's a picture that I took. I think the last time we were out there, the one we've been looking at all this time with uh, the, the Eagle vehicle out in front of the, mm -hmm. uh, the dealership. And it's, uh, we, we have enjoyed it our relationship with the uh, street uh, auto group and the street Volkswagen folks, you guys, and I've gotten to know the people there and Elvis and, uh, and Dave and uh, the gang. Uh, it's just a blast. You guys are a lot of fun to do business with. Yeah. Elvis was racing the street Volkswagen car uh, Saturday night, had a little problem, kind of uh, 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 took out a little piece of the wall and a few other things. He's a little sore this morning. So he had, he had a little crash. Allie yeah. Allison's uh, husband is there. Yeah. That's who yeah. Elvis is. Yeah. Yeah, Allie, there's a little video and you hear Allie go, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh my God. You know, you know, and then you hear her kind of think, yeah, but it's Elvis. What else would we expect? It's Elvis will be fine. I stand in that street Volkswagen and talk to Willie Mays and Elvis. Where else are you going to do that? Exactly right. Elvis is alive and, and he hasn't left the building. He's he hasn't left the building. 
All right, okay. John. Well, hey, thanks for your time today. I've had a great time. We'll do this again soon. But I think we need to, we got to recognize our producer, Tom, at least for one second. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, great job. Great job. Way to go. Tom talks baseball. Uh, look for it on Facebook. And uh, Tom does talk about baseball. Yep. So, all right. Well, thanks again, guys. If we can do anything, reach out to us. You know where to find us. We'll do it, John. Take care, bud. Thanks, everybody.